This poem is, um, it's called Achilles at Ilios. Achilles is a minor goddess in Greek mythology that sort of embodies misery. And Ilios is the altar that the Athenians would go to with their sorrows. And I, I've tried to incorporate some other goddesses of comfort. Oh, I need my glasses. <laughs> Oculus at Ilios, Union Square, New York City, 2013. On her knees in Union Square, a once beautiful Asian woman, on a small patch of dirt and grass, gaunt, tall, fragile, hollowed with heart hunger, hair wild and tangled, despair ravaged face, Rocking, swaying, keening, playing. To a small altar she is built of twigs and trash and a small worn blue square of silk. Incense burns from two sticks placed like torches in the ground. She entreats, pleads to a small invisible deity with a desperate worship. Her face changes as if wooing a lover, now addressing a small child with rueful, tolerant smiles and gasps of wonder, now weeping tears of torment, tearing at her hair and draping torn tresses on the altar, savaging her skin with nails grown long in skeletal fingers, and now again, gentle murmurs, whispered prayers, her hands of sorrow like pale birds hover and swoop in the air before her, then come to rest on her heart. This in the middle of a mad city, people rushing to errands at lunch, tossing wrappers into overflowing trash cans and cigarettes to the ground. Teenagers smoking pot and skateboarding with sudden percussions, anarchists conferring over leaflets and wandering with angry eyes, and the homeless like sleeping mountains along the benches. Spellbound, I watch her, lost in my own despair, and pulled into the vortex of hers as she blocks the sun, a wild willow swaying above me with 1,000 imploring arms. Oh, and she brings me along like a song. She despairs, I follow. She loves, I follow. She hates, and my fury is inflamed. She hopes and I believe, and I follow, 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 and am folded into her dark reverie, swept under by the wave of her holy madness. Of course, the questions. What could have brought her here and so tormented that I think to offer mortal help? Her bags lie at her side, the last possessions of a refugee. And what should I do? Call 911? and see her torn from her reverie, her sacred sanity shattered, ushered by sirens to a sterile hospital room, or told to move along by wearied and jaded police? Should I capture her spirit on my iPhone and use it as a Vimeo or a multimedia background performance piece at PS122, or as an image to begin a poem or shall I remain devoted and grateful as her wails subside and she gathers her altar and bags, leaves me in the dust muddy with tears, awaiting solace. Wow. Thank you.